for $5.49. That's crazy. Costco haul. Number one thing to always get at Costco, the amount of money and food you wasted. I learned the lesson the hard way, so hopefully this helps you not make the same mistakes. 419. 419 people have to add to your Costco list. I'm just not even gonna say anything else. It was 8 dollars for three. Welcome to another Costco haul. Today's grand total is just shy of $500. So I'm gonna show you exactly what $500 can buy you at Costco. And I am Canadian, so everything that I talk about will be in Canadian prices. So I will take you through the categories, let you know how much everything is, and what is the best bang for my buck and what I kind of regret buying at Costco because some of these items I found cheaper at No Frills immediately after. So let's start with the first category of things I always, always recommend buying at Costco because they are the best value. Everything that I recommend buying at Costco is because it's the best value slash quality combined. So that would be vitamins. So we got three vitamins here and this one is absolutely my favorite. This is the Adult Kirkland Multivitamin and I will tell you how much everything is. This one is $13.99 and comes with 250 gummies and my vitamin drawer is literally right here. You can see we're about to run out of those ones so I will just pop that in there. The next one we got is the Calcium Vitamin D Gummies and these ones are $11.49 and they're by Nature's Bounty. I love these ones. Mm. And these ones are cherry and orange. So good, probably finished chewing. The final vitamins we got are the Kirkland Vitamin C. And I'm not gonna lie, we don't actually usually buy those. The Jameson's Vitamin C. But this one is 500 tablets and it was only $12.99, which is a steal because if you've tried to buy Vitamin C at the grocery store, well, let's see how these ones taste though. Yeah, they're fantastic. Number one thing to always get at Costco is vitamins. You're gonna get the best quality, the best bang for your buck, and then you don't have to think about it. So it might be expensive up front to buy in bulk like that, but 100% recommend vitamins. Next, I wanna move over to the produce section just so I can get some of this out of our way. I'm gonna start with actually one thing I do not recommend buying at Costco, and that would be the peppers right in front of me. So these mixed peppers are $8.99 per bag and there's only six peppers. You can go to No Frills and get six peppers of similar size for $5.49. Don't really recommend it. I just don't think that this is very good value. The next thing we got in the produce section would be our strawberries. This uh, quart, it's a two pound quart. It, I don't know if quart is the right word, but two pounds of strawberries, and this is $6.99. Our blueberries were $5.99, which I feel like that is pretty darn good. good. Definitely be careful of the quality of the berries at Costco, and just make sure that you're prepared to eat them almost immediately, just because it's so big, they can go bad, and you don't wanna have to throw them out. For number two of the 10 things that I highly, highly recommend at Costco, mini potatoes. The Little Potato Company, we love them, and I will buy these from Metro, but I think they're $3.99 for like this tiny little bag, about a quarter the size of this. This entire bag was $6.99, which honestly, you just, you can't beat that. It's like the best deal, so, Number one, vitamins. Number two, little potatoes. Next, we got some avocados. The avocados were $7.99, which is honestly not the best price, but it's the size of avocados that I feel like that is worth it. My third thing that you have to buy at Costco if you're looking for the best value would be the romaine heads. This entire bundle, there is one, two, three, four, five, six romaine heads for $5.99. You honestly just can't beat that. You can go to Metro and buy three of them for $5.99 themselves. So this is a ridiculously good deal. I find that last, I will wash, cut and wash three heads and leave three heads, 
And then once we run out of this, I will do the same for them. We've never had an issue where we've had to throw out any romaine lettuce. So highly, highly recommend. Okay, the next two things are great if you are going to be cooking a lot and if you have a good, a good amount of pantry storage. I think they're both great in value, but I don't know if they make my top 10 list. Just things to keep in mind. So the onions, the red onion bag is $3.79. So that is for a five pound bag of red onions, which that's a lot of onions. So we wouldn't necessarily go through that many, but we're gonna be doing some batch baking today, or not batch baking, batch cooking today. So we're gonna be using a lot of them, especially because we're batch, bake, batch cooking for more than just ourselves. So really good deal if you have recipes that need a lot of onion. I'll keep two probably in the fridge after we're done cooking that we can use throughout the weeks. The sweet potatoes are $4.99, and I honestly think that's a huge bargain. With Costco, you're always trying to weigh the deal with the waste. Like, you don't want to have the waste, so is it worth it? So, with produce especially, it's a very fine line. The avocados, I think we will for sure. It's just when they are ready to go, we're going to be eating avocado for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which is fine by me. Okay, the final two things for produce. Sorry, that was a huge section. But the final two things for produce are our mushrooms. This is also for the cooking. We are making um, like a shepherd's pie and a lasagna for all of the grandparents because of everything going on in, in Ontario right now with you know what. We're just trying to cook and shop for them. So I'll let you know which things are not necessarily for us, but for them. But we're gonna be doing that after this. So we have the mushrooms for the lasagna and the Brussels sprouts. We don't usually eat Brussels sprouts, but I think Kyle bought those ones for us. These are $4.99, which that seems like a good amount. I don't know much about Brussels sprouts. Don't know if that's a good price. Don't know how long they last, so let me know in the comments if that is worth it for Costco. I won't be adding that to my list for the meantime. So that is everything for the produce section. And number four would absolutely have to be this right here. The Kirkland toilet paper, people. It is so much cheaper and such better quality than anything else. Anyway, probably more than you wanted to know about toilet paper, but let me tell you the cost. But this was $17.99 and it is 30 rolls. And this will last us for a very long time. I will update you on my Instagram at AfterTap when I run out of this. So it might not be for a few months, but I will let you know. I think my only downer with this one is that there's plastic on the outside and then there's plastic on the inside. So this is great if you're sharing, like if we're sharing with family members or whatever, that is great. But it just bothers me from like an environmental standpoint that every six rolls are packaged in plastic as well as around the plastic. So I wish that could be better, but still makes the top four. Number five on the list of top 10 things to get at Costco would be your aluminum foil or your plastic wrap or we've got um, parchment paper in here. Wow, okay, you should see all, everything in this drawer is just like oversized stuff. But this was $21.99 and there was a sale going on for $4.50 off and it is 200 meters. We will not need tinfoil for, honestly, years. We also use, before everyone comes at me, we also use our reusable um, baking sheet cover things. Add it to the list, aluminum foil, or all of your food wrap kind of gear. Number six on the list is granola or granola bars. The Quaker Oats, um, chocolate granola, the Vector High Protein Cereal, and then, very exciting, and I'm gonna try this with you, is the Cliff Nut Butter Bar. It looks so good. Like, have a look at that. So I will open this, eat one, tell you how they are, 
and also tell you the prices of everything. So the Vector Jumbo is $8.99. That's this one here, $8.99. The granola is $13.99. Now this is huge. This is 1.6 kilograms. And why this is gonna save us a lot of money is because we've been eating Love Crunch, which comes in those tiny little bags and they're like $6.99 from Metro. And we go through them in, honestly, we're both having them, three breakfasts, six, six cereal bowls, and that's it. Now this final one was more expensive than the others. This is $17.99, and it is only 16 bars. However, that's pretty on par, if not cheaper, of what you would pay if you bought these bars from the grocery store or Oftentimes you'll see them for sale individually and they're usually around $2. So that's what they look like. Ooh, and then that's what they are inside. There's like chocolate inside. That is so good. And that is the key. When you're trying to figure out what to buy from Costco and what's going to be worth it and where you're actually saving money, think about the shelf life. It's so important. The first few times we went to Costco, the amount of money and food we wasted. I learned the lesson the hard way, so hopefully this helps you not make the same mistakes. The next thing that you have to, have to, have to get from Costco, if you're not vegetarian, would be chicken. So this box of chicken here is our favorite. It's the Airy Meats Chicken Breast, and this is $24.99. It's 2.7 kilograms of chicken. This is such good quality chicken, especially if you have a sous vide maker. You'll never want to buy fresh chicken again because the price is crazy. And also you can sous vide this from frozen and it's the best chicken. So, and it lasts forever. So if you're not a huge meat eater, we don't eat meat every day that's for sure but this is such a good way to throw in a couple in the morning into the sous vide and then you have the best chicken ever and you're not worried about waste a few other poultry items that don't make the cut for my list purposes but just very helpful things to keep an eye out for would be the turkey sausages these are fully cooked so you just have to microwave them $15.99 for 50 there was a sale on chicken wings so Kyle wanted some of these $17.99 and it was four dollars off so that is pretty good $13.99 last but not least for poultry would be our chicken bites and this huge box here was $14.99 and these are ridiculously good for an unhealthy chicken salad if you wanna cut up the chicken bites and put it on top. Next on the list of 10 things you need to buy at Costco would be your laundry detergent. So laundry detergent, fabric softener, honestly, any cleaning products for the most part, um, dishwasher fluid or the Cascade things, uh, Pine Soul. I have not found any cleaning products there that are more expensive than anywhere else, if that makes sense. That is the best place to go and get your cleaning products. I just wouldn't try any new cleaning products there because then you're stuck with it for a very long time. You can get scrubbing bubbles there and if you have not tried it, take my recommendation, you're, you're good. You're gonna want the Costco ones. Sweet, there was a sale on this and I didn't even know, but this was $23.99. $5 off, so under $20, and we got this Oxy Cold Water Tie, fantastic. That is amazing. I did not know that was on sale. Always look for the Costco sales. I didn't in that case, but it worked out in my favor. Next two things that you have to add to your Costco list would be gnocchi and these pasta bags are ridiculously good and so cheap. I can't even get over it. They're perfectly fine if you freeze them. So we will keep one fresh in the fridge and freeze the other two and keep it for later. So the gnocchi was $9.99. Honestly, it's not that big of a savings from the grocery store, but it is so, so good. And it is like probably a dollar or so savings per package because there's two on here. Amazing, it's filled with real cheese. Mm, really good. 
Wowza. Okay, so this is $14.99 for these three things, but minus $3. So there was a sale on them, so $11.99 for three of them. Whereas individually packaged, these are upwards to $8.99 at Metro. So that is pretty fantastic. Still on my list. Has to make both lists because you need to know about it. You can see the floor around me. I'm just surrounded by Costco. Not making the list, but just going through everything that we have for $500. We have the potatoes, instant potatoes, that we're going to be using for the shepherd's pie. We have our turkey. This should have been with the poultry. Um, this is ground turkey. We also have... Um, this is a banana loaf, not for us, but for our grandpa, and it's $6.99. We've got the bagels. This can make the list for sure. If you like bagels, I don't know where you're buying them, but unless it's like a local bakery, you need to switch to Costco. It's $6.99 for two of them, and they're unreal. We got sesame seed this time, which we have not tried, and then we got the cheddar jalapeno, which are just such a treat. We got non-bread. This is not something we usually buy, but I tried making a curry the other day and it was really good. And I usually, I didn't think I liked curry, but now I do. So we are going to probably freeze these and just pull them out as needed as a little side for our curry. One more thing of bread. The stone mill bread at Costco is incredible. So this is also $6.99, same as the bagels for two, again, keep one out, freeze the other. Those aren't for us either, but I do like that brand. This makes the list every single time. Get your sour cream at Costco. $4.19, $4.19 people, $4.19. I cannot get one of these at Metro for like under three, what, $3.99? Let me know in the comments below what is the cheapest you have gotten. We won't buy any cream cheese anywhere but Costco just because the price difference is so extreme. This pack of three Philly cream cheeses is $8.99. I'm just not even gonna say anything else. It was $8.99 for three. Okay. Then we are moving in to our big blocks. Again, we never buy this many. It's for all of those recipes we talked about. $12.99 for each of these. That's a lot of cheese for $12.99. Maybe that will make my next list. I will give it a go. I just don't think that if you're not cooking, I don't know how you would get through this without it going bad. But let me know again in the comments if you have. We have Jarlsberg. This is not for us either, but this is $11.99 and it's little slices. I don't think that's really a great deal for the amount of cheese compared to the other stuff, but I don't know. It might be a better quality and it's very convenient, especially for our grandpa, just because it's all already sliced. Super nice and simple. And then we've got two more cheeses here. Oh, we love both of these. So this is the smoked Gouda, and I love this one. $11.99, the Canadian Heritage Cheddar Cheese, $12.99. We have tzatziki. This makes the list. Your tzatzikis, your hummus, your spinach dip, anything like that, your ranch dip, your Caesar salad dressing, anything in that aisle of Costco is a really great deal. This is actually near the rainbow pasta. Remember, $8.49 for two. Last two things, and they both make the list. Yogurt, especially if you have kids and you rather have individually wrapped, this is the better way to go. So how many is in here? 24. So 24 yogurts for $5.49. That's crazy. Yeah, $5.49. So that's amazing. I don't know why you would get it anywhere else. Such a good deal. This one isn't actually for us, but I'm gonna keep that in mind because maybe I should have packed some up for us as well. Last but not least, the eggs. This is a pack of 30 eggs, and it was, for 30 eggs, it is $6.69, which is pretty fantastic considering these are free run, Canadian, and very, very high quality. We will easily go through 30 eggs in, I wanna say, two weeks, and there's only two of us. 
So that is everything on our Costco receipt and the grand total. $470.20. So that was everything that you can buy for around $500 at Costco, and those were my 10 must-haves to buy. So let me know in the comments below if my 10 must-haves are also your 10 must-haves, or is there something that you always buy at Costco that you highly, highly recommend? Let me know below. I would love to hear it. I love talking about Costco. And if you haven't watched my first Costco haul, I will link that below as well. If you're not subscribed, please do that now. It would mean so much to me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!